when we see problems on linked lists, we all follow a very similar pattern. You start off with a pointer to a node and then you will keep on traversing until you reach null. And all along the way, you can make any manipulations to any of the elements. The problem arises when you are standing at a particular node and you have to delete that node. That is where things get tricky. And in this particular problem itself, you have to delete all the duplicates. And it could be possible that the node you are pointing to, that itself has to be deleted. In every such problem, a dummy node comes in very, very handy because this is a disposable node. So let's see how we can take advantage of it. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So as usual, we will start off with a problem statement and look at some sample test cases. We will go over some of the traditional methods to solve this problem. And then we are going to take the help of a dummy node to arrive at a very efficient solution. After that, we will also do a dry run of the code so that you can actually visualize how all of this is actually working in action. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's make sure that you understand the problem statement correctly. In this problem, you are given the head of a sorted linked list. The word sorted is very important over here as it helps to simplify the solution when we go further. And this list has some duplicated integers. And what do you want to do? you have to return me a list that only contains the distinct elements. So for example, I have this test case over here with me. In this particular list, the number three is duplicated and the number four is duplicated. So your resultant list will look something like this. Notice that it only has the distinct elements and the numbers if are duplicated have been removed altogether. You don't even have to keep a single instance of them. Similarly, for the next test case, you see that the number one has been repeated three times. So when you're finding the distinct elements, they are just two and three. So the resultant list will only have these two elements. So no matter the number of duplicates, you have to remove all of them. So if you feel that the problem statement is now even clear to you, feel free to first try it out. Otherwise, let us dive into the solution. When you start to think about a solution and you see this list in front of you, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? You have to find out all the duplicates. So it makes sense that you count all of the elements, right? And to do that, what will you do? You will start from the head and then iterate over each of the elements. And you can maintain a map that is storing how many times each of the digit is occurring. You see that one occurs one time, two occurs one time, three occurs two times, four occurs two times and five occurs one time. In the next step, what you can do is just iterate over this map and pick all of the elements whose frequency is one. So now you can return a new list. And this list does not have any of the duplicates. So this can be your answer. But do you see the problem with this approach? You are taking up extra space just to maintain this map. And we never really take advantage of the fact that this list is sorted. That is why I said in the beginning, that the word sorted is very, very important because that kind of gives you a hint about the direction you need to proceed in to get an efficient solution. You look at this list once again, and this time you want to find an efficient solution. You also want to save up on memory as well. You were taking up the extra space of a map, but this time you want to avoid it. It means that you will have to play around with all of these pointers, correct? And when you're playing with all of these pointers, you know that with linked lists, there is a risk that you can lose this reference to your head. For example, you see that you have all the first three nodes duplicated. So you have to delete a node on which you are itself standing right now. In those scenarios, a good practice is that you take the help of a dummy node. And the way a dummy node works is you take up an arbitrary node and assign a random value to it and put the next of dummy node to the head of your current linked list. The advantage of this is you now get an anchor point and you can now play around with any of these pointers. And at the very end, just return a dummy dot next and you will have your entire list intact. The next thing that you have to take advantage of is that this list is already sorted. It simply means that all of these duplicates, they will be adjacent to each other. So, you can just simply iterate over the list and see that, okay, if these adjacent elements are the same, 
you can remove them. So to start off things, we will take the help of two more pointers. We have a previous pointer that points at the previous node and we have a current pointer that is pointing at the head right now. So in every iteration, we have to check if the value of the current node is same as the value of the next node. So the value of the current node is same as the value of the next node. Yes, that means you are at a duplicate. So once you have found out that, okay, I am at a duplicate, you know that there can be more duplicates ahead. So what you will do is you will run a loop inside this to find out all the duplicates. So at every iteration, you will just check is the value of my current node same as the next node? Yes. Is the value same as the next node? Yes. But once you reach here, the value of the current node is not the same. So you stop over here. And once you stop, you know that, okay, I have found out all of my duplicates. So it is now time to update your previous pointer because all of these nodes have to go away. So the previous pointer needs to be updated. So what I will do is I'm going to say previous.next equals to current.next. So basically I'm removing this reference and I am saying previous.next equals to current.next. I have just removed all of these duplicates. And now what I can do is I can move my current pointer one step ahead again. And once again, you will do the same thing. Is your current value same as the next value? No, right? That means you are at a unique element. So you need to update your previous pointer. And the current pointer will move one step ahead. Once again, do the same approach. Is the current value same as the next value? Yes. So you want to find out how many duplicates do you have? So you move your current pointer one step ahead and check the same thing. Is the current value same as the next value? No. That means you have found out all of your duplicates. It is time to update the previous value. And once again, what will you do? Previous.next equals to current.next. So previous.next is going to get updated and it will point to current.next. Current now will move ahead and you will once again check is the current value same as the next value. You have reached a null and that is where you stop. So what just happened over here? If you return dummy.next, what are you actually returning? You are returning this particular list which has a node 3. The next is 5 and then you have a null. So you have removed all the duplicates and you are returning only a list with these distinct elements. And if you notice, we did not take up any extra space and we just did one iteration of the entire list. Based upon this particular approach, let us quickly do a dry run of the code now. On the left side of your screen, you will have the complete code to implement this solution. And on the right, I have the sample list that is passed in as an input parameter to the function delete duplicates. What is the first thing that we do? First of all, we create our dummy node and we assign any arbitrary value to it. This time I have assigned a value zero. And what I say is dummy.next equals to head. So this dummy node comes in the beginning and the next of this dummy node is pointing at head. After that, you take up two more pointers, the previous node and the current node. The current node is going to iterate over each of the element and the previous node will just be keeping a track of what is the value previous to the node that I want. So previous is pointing at dummy node right now and current is pointing at head right now because that is where I have to start. Next, as per the tradition, you will start up a while loop until your current node reaches null. That is how you will ensure that you have traversed every node in the linked list, right? And at every iteration, what do you do? You will check if the current node is a duplicate. So I check if current value is same as the value of my next node. So current dot value is equal to next dot value. Yes. And in that condition, what do you want to do? You know that, okay, I have found a node that is duplicated. Since the list is sorted, you will keep on going ahead until you find out all of these duplicated elements. So I start a while loop next and I will keep on doing a current dot next until I am finding all of these duplicated values. So this particular current node will move one step here and then it will move one step here. It will stop here because current dot value is not same as current dot next dot value. So now I know that I have identified all of this block of duplicate elements. It is now time that you update the pointer of your previous node. 
So that is where I say previous dot next equals to current dot next. So what this will do is it will update this pointer and I will say previous dot next equals to current dot next. Once this is done, I know that I have covered this node. So I need to move on to my next node. So this current pointer will now be pointing at the next node. And once again, you will do the same thing. Check if the current value is same as the next value. No. So what I will do, current will move ahead and this previous node, it will also move ahead to the next value. Now what happens? In the next iteration, you check is 3 same as null? No. And that is where you stop. Once this loop ends, what do you return now? You simply return dummy.next. And when you return dummy.next, you are actually returning this list which has 2, then a 3 and then a null. So all of the duplicates got removed and you only have the unique elements. The time complexity of this particular solution is order of n because we iterate through the list only once and the space complexity of the solution is order of 1 because you do not take up any extra space to arrive at your solution. I hope things are now simplified for you and you could actually see how a dummy node gives you so much advantage. As per my final thoughts, I just want to say that whenever you see a problem on linked list, never ignore this method because it is a disposable node and it doesn't even take up your memory. It can give you a new insight and you can actually come up with an efficient solution. While going throughout the video, did you face any problems or do you have any other method in mind which simplifies this problem even more? Tell me everything in the comment section below and I would love to discuss all of it with you. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This keeps me motivated and I can make more such videos. Also, a huge shout out to all the members who support my channel. You guys really keep me going. And as a member, you do get priority reply to your comments and early access to new videos as well. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Until then, see ya.